YouTube video number one. So why we wanted to make a YouTube channel, we really wanted to address some of the things that we couldn't find online. We felt like our story is probably going to resonate with a lot of people because we're average in the best sense. And so we really wanted to bring what we're learning in our journey, just get our story out there and see, uh, hopefully it helps somebody. Hopefully somebody can learn something from it and also be encouraged and inspired by it. What are the pieces that we couldn't find much on? So there's not really a whole lot of people who are using the run less, run faster model and that's something that I have gotten into lately and been reading about and researching. There's not really a big online community presence and it's a very kind of niche group. So that was one thing and then the other thing was a husband and wife who are both training together and just sharing the other responsibilities, raising kids, but also balancing our schedules with one another. I think that pretty much captures it. Yeah. Those are the two big things that I was thinking of. Couldn't find a lot on, on YouTube University. Couldn't find a lot of blogs on it. Even within our running circle, there really wasn't a whole lot of people whose like both spouses are trying to train for train at a high level. What, what do we want to get out of this? And I think the answer for me is, I would love to, if, if nobody watches this, that's okay. In 10 years, I want to be able to look back and see what all we were able to do and have it documented for us, just for our enjoyment. The second big piece that would be most encouraging to me is to hear that somebody was inspired by our story or encouraged to sign up for a race or encouraged to uh, not let small children put their plans on hold, um, but they signed up for a race. So those would be like the biggest things that are encouraging. Also, as with any runner or triathlete, injuries come and we can get really down about that. And so sharing as we go through this and as we face difficulties, um, being able to encourage somebody who might be in the middle of working through an injury as Katie knows right now. We'll talk about that later on. So I think those are the biggest things. Like if we can just encourage somebody, like that just makes us happy. Getting our story out there, um, hopefully it resonates because like there's, you know, we're not, we're not elite athletes. Um, we're good at jogging and we enjoy running. And so uh, we're just really excited about sharing our journey. So what's up next in the immediate future? I'll let you think about it. For me, resolution run January 1st, 2024. It's crazy to say 2024. And then after that, I am pacing a run at the Greenville Half Marathon. And then the following week, I'm running Myrtle Beach Marathon. So March, early March will be Myrtle Beach Marathon. What races do you have coming up? So I am also doing the resolution 5K tomorrow but I'm not racing it. I am running with our son who is six and has been training and wants to do his first 5K. So we are gonna run that together. Then I am also signed up to do the same half marathon in Greenville in February. However, I am not quite sure what my plan is for that. I'm dealing with a hamstring injury right now. So I may defer that one may just run it as a training run. I'm not quite sure about that one. Then after that, the big one is April, um, Boston. My second time running Boston. So I'm excited about that. That'll be a fun girls weekend. Go by girls. girls Y'all have fun. So that's, that'll be a fun trip. And love Boston. All right, so I asked the question, what's coming up in terms of races? What's coming up in terms of content? So some of the things that we are just excited about and just really honestly excited to talk about are the run less, run faster model and how that's working out for me. This is the first time that 
we've done any training plan that's similar to this. Yes. Outside of like true triathlon training. Correct. Correct. So just talking about that and talking about how we balance our schedules with both of us training. We've gone through seasons where we're both marathon training or we're both triathlon training for Ironman and half Ironman and just how we balance that hopefully to maybe encourage other people who are trying to figure out how to balance that as well. If you had asked me before we went into any of those training blocks, I would have said it's not possible. Like it's one of us is going to have to give and not have a full training block to get to the marathon fully trained. But we figured it out. And so that's something we're excited about sharing. Um, and then triathlon training. I trained for a full Ironman while Katie was training for a half Ironman. And we were able to do that. And so I think as we go through that again, we wanted to document and share that. So there'll be a lot that's dedicated entirely to just how we lay out and budget our time, how we lay out our schedule, and how we lay out our workouts so that they match with one another instead of compete with one another. What's something else that you'll be talking about soon? Um, injury. Working through injuries. Working through injuries and just... How to get into a training block when you're working through an injury. Or if you're in the middle of a training block, how to kind of work back into jumping back in when you don't want to make things worse, but you don't want to put off that training um, and just put everything on pause. It's a really fine line. So we're going to be walking through that. Uh, another thing that we've talked about is how to get through training while on vacation. That can be really tricky, but uh, depending on where you are and what you're training for, I think it's doable and we're gonna share our journey with that as we take some vacations this year. Yeah, and I think one of the main things too is in all of this and all the things that we talk about, we still have lives outside of training, like our kids do sports and we're very active in our church and so balancing all of these things while still having lives. Right, and keeping priorities in the right priority for us. And so we're not gonna neglect family. We're not gonna neglect things that are really important to us just to hit a run. Uh, so that may mean early mornings, late nights, working out during lunch breaks, things like that, that you know, are sacrifices, but it helps us get those workouts in. With that, I just wanna say thank you for watching till the end of this video. Come back, um, we'll have a lot more to share and so yeah, I would encourage you to subscribe if you have any interest in hearing what's next on our journey. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.